So just heading into Maya's and it's a nice rainy day. Something just happened here because it was all lights, probably why we're all slowed down so everyone can have a nosy. It's 20 to 12. Raising a baby in a New York City apartment is like growing an oak tree in a thimble. <laughs> and we're heading to the meat market. <laughs> That's all the yellow cabs today. Usually we see a ton. Mm. They're all downtown, midtown, uptown. There's one. Ooh, I hate this bit road. Pete got our parking spot. Myers is just on that next block. And over there in the distance, you can kind of see. We're going to go walking in the rain. <laughs> walking in a winter wonderland. The um, top of the Freedom Tower. I was naughty, I did a sneaky bit of video in there, but not for long, so I didn't want to push my luck. All right, as Pete says now, they're all getting to know us. Okay guys, we're heading out of the city. I was just on a mission to find a green cab for Claire, and uh, as we were zooming past a side street, Pete's... Ooh. Pete spotted one. This is not the fun rain, this is the soaking rain. Actually taking the George Washington back. It's my favorite bridge from a distance, I don't like going over it. So this doesn't seem too bad today. So we're just at the mall, meeting Ashley. It's two o'clock. Gonna go in here to eat. It's quite busy. Pete made me go into Bath and Body Works. Actually, you did. A candle calling your name. Pardon? There's a candle calling your name. Candles calling my name, and they were nine dollars a piece. They needed to complete their day. <laughs> Susia, yeah. yay! But um, the other, the new girl at the Myers at Keswick knows you. And now the five. <laughs> but the candles were only nine bucks a piece, so I got three candles. I'm still trying to get that notoriety in the camera stores, but it just doesn't happen. But you don't go often enough. But uh. And then I had a $10 off coupon, so I got three candles and two wallflowers for the price of a candle. Yeah. Yippee! These kids are crazy. I not want to do this for anything. That rope. You notice they put a little baby one over in the corner for toddlers? No, they took the Apple Store out, which is really stupid, I think. She's got some potato skins. Oh, she's got her. Ashley's out of work, yay! Pretty much get along with everybody there, right? Yeah, along with everyone there. Favorite 
favorite place. I gave Ashley a choice of 900 restaurants and she picked the same one. She's got the baby burgers and some frazzled onions. They're frazzled, I tell you. How's yours? <laughs> How's yours? Good. How's yours? Good. What did you get? Beet steak, lobster? Steak and shrimp. Cool. Now she got baby burgers. We're going home. So we just went into Victoria's Secret with the longest line, right? So we're just waiting for Pete. Cheesecake's over there, but we're not hungry anymore. And considering we came for dinner, we did a little bit of damage. Didn't we? So we had a nice walk around guys and now we're going home. Pete's behind us somewhere and now she's... I don't have my glasses so unfortunately I can't offer to drive. <laughs> Plus with the rain and that it just makes my eyes even worse without the glasses because it's all um, out of focus anyway so having the rain... Deja vu! <laughs> Except it's Sunday. Later <laughs> It is a bit lighter. You know, that's another good thing. What time is it? It's quarter to five. So you can definitely see the days are getting lighter again. Yeah. Okay, guys. Went to Myers, as you know. Got my love hearts because Pete's not sharing his. Got Ashley two of these coins. She doesn't know it yet. The chocolate coins. Um, they had the Bet. Uh, the Bendix. So I just got a packet of those because we didn't buy a lot of English big cans of sweets for Christmas. So um, six of Ashley's lemonade. And I figured I want some wagon wheels. I haven't had these in ages. And then these are sausage rolls. Just got two sausage rolls. No, three sausage rolls, two scotch eggs, a pound of bacon, and three pork pies. And that was it from there and then what I'll do is I'll show you what we got from the mall when I go upstairs because I'm going to put this stuff away and then make a cup of tea. Got a couple of things in Old Navy. They had a 75% a 70 sale and 75%. Okay guys, as you know we went to the mall just to meet Ashley for She ended up working to about 20 past 2, 25 past 2 so we went past Bath and Body Works and there was a big semi-annual sale sign in the window. So Pete says, go on, it's calling your name. Uh, which is quite big of him because he's not he doesn't get the whole candle thing. And the candles. I had more hands because I would have gotten a few. I just want to show you a couple of sweaters I got real quick. Um, but yeah, so I went into Bath and Body Works and got a couple of candles. I'll show you which ones I got in a minute because I haven't unwrapped them yet. Went into Hallmark, got Pete's birthday card and a little plaque. And then I went into Old Navy, which was a huge, huge line, but I'm like 70% off in there. And I tell you, I've really done well with Old Navy. This is Old Navy, I've got my fox on. But they're washing really nice. And I said to the girl at the register, I said, I'm really impressed with Old Navy this year because it's really hit and miss. And uh, she's like, yeah, I know, because it's the best we've ever had. And I agree. So as they call it, plaid. I call it checked, but I got this shirt because I'm really into these shirts lately. And I saw this one the other day, and uh, I was like, I'm going to get it, and then the line was really long, and I said, ah, forget it. But while we were there today, Pete said, don't be ridiculous, go get it. This was, uh, I think this was the most expensive thing, which is crazy. It was $20. So I got that. And then I couldn't <laughs> love this lime green. It's coming up a lot greener in the thing, but I just like this cable knit. And this one was 18, I think. It was originally 40, and it was on sale for 18. And then this one, I saw this one while I was in line, and Ash went and picked it up for me. This one was 12, it was on sale from 30. And it was $12. And I just like, I don't know if you can even tell, it's like a, a light pinky peach. Yeah, it's a light pink. And then that brown. And they have the seven pants for $26. So Ash wanted to go back into 
Victoria's Secret and get herself some things. And while we're in line, she goes, Mum, they have one of those sweaters you liked. I don't know if you remember my light blue. Can so you get off of it, please? But this was $59.95. And it was on sale for $21. So I was like, why not? I like it. And I love my sweaters. And that's all I wear now till about March. So that was that. So it's got a bright pink P on it. So we say that represents our last name. <laughs> I know, crazy. Why am I spending money? Because it was cheap. Uh, four sweaters for the price of one, so you can't beat that. But anyway, I'm going to put these away and then I'll show you the couple of candles I got. And then I'm going to organize. Oh, okay, I went in the Hallmark store to get Pete's birthday card, and I just love these kind of little things. They're just little wooden things that you put up. Well, I might see if Peter put a nail up for me, but this one just says, enjoy the little things in life, for someday you will realize they were the big things. And I'm um, getting into a lot of these, I'll put it there for now, getting into these kind of things lately. Um, they had a lot, lot that I liked, but I'll wait. Okay, so the three candles, now you can't beat this. Now these candles are 20 bucks, that's what you pay for them. They were on sale because they had their semi-annual sale and they were $9. So I also had a coupon for $10 off. $27 for three candles. So I go, and these were on sale. The wall flowers that go in, obviously, into the wall. These were $3 a piece, so I thought if I get two, because this is my sparkling icicles, which I won't be able to get soon. This will all be out. That puts it to... 33 so then I had the $10 off coupon so with tax it came to $26 for three candles and these two which would normally be $72 because these are six dollars a piece normally and these are 20 so that's 72 bucks and I got them for 26 so I'm really excited I'm really excited I know no one else really cares I know there's not a lot of candle people out there you either love candles or you eh. I didn't like candles till last year this one is Bellini Cafe, and it's the Italian love of life is captured in a blend of sparkling berries, juicy apples, and sugared grape notes. It's bellissimo, and I tell you what, this one smells so good. I said to Pete, what do you think? He went, eh. <laughs> and then, this one won't be out much longer, the good natured Christmas. This one says, created to be shared with the ones you love, a good natured Christmas generously blends creamy white birch, smoked vanilla bean and a hint of musk. This one I really like. In fact I might burn that one now because I just finished my sparkling icicles last night. It's done. And this one's good. Actually I think I might have half of one of these over there so maybe I'll burn that and then replace it. This one says the fragrance of deep blue water surrounded by notes of moss, sage and bay leaves captures the essence of the lakeside adventure. So good. Why not? I said to Ash you want to go in and get some? She goes no I really don't need any more. I've got so many at this point. Well now I'm set for a little while um, but while they're that price I, um, I need to go get some more because when I got sick, I didn't put up my eBay store, but I'm definitely going to be doing that in January. So instead of me talking about it, I'll just do it and then let you guys know when it's done. Because I know a lot of you are interested in the candles, um, and I am going to do it, guys, I promise you. Just November and December, having this cough and cold on top of everything else has really just knocked me back so far. But um, I started making myself a list, and that's at the top of my list. Let's do this one. New Year's Eve. Anybody have plans for New Year's Eve? If you're like me, you stay home. I gave up going out on New Year's Eve a long time ago. Um, there's nothing we really do around here. <laughs> like I said, you know, New Year's Day. We used to go over Pete's mom's for dinner on New Year's Day, but now we kind of just lounge around the house. And then we have Pete's birthday on the second, so... By the time Christmas and New Year's and everything else is gone, we're all absolutely shattered. So New Year's Eve, I just stay home. So do you guys go out New Year's Eve or do you have people over? Or do you just chill out and watch the ball drop? 
or whatever happens in your, your area. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. It's a very soggy, wet one here, as you saw. It's supposed to pour till about 10 o'clock tonight. It's 6 o'clock now. The basement uh, boiler room flooded, flooded a little bit, so it proves how much it's been raining while we've been out. But such is life. But we're all in for the night now. Ash is downstairs painting the nails and she's going to play some Star Wars because she has to be back out of the house by 5.15, 5.30 again in the morning. But I'm going to go have my nails done in the morning. They've been lasting now, which is great. It's time to get this wreath and this candy cane off because that part of Christmas is over. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Have a great night. Ta-ra,